well, how do we study the different parts of the brain as they work? One way is to record the electricity that the brain makes as it is engaged in different functions. We do this by picking up the electrical signals using sensors sewn to a hat. This procedure is completely harmless. It is like listening to or eavesdropping on the brain's electrical conversations. It's similar to how a stethoscope allows us to amplify the sounds of a beating heart. There's another technique we can use to see the structure of the brain with exquisite detail. This is called Magnetic Resonance Imaging, or MRI. Now most of what we know is about the organization of the brain in the adult. We are currently conducting the same type of research with children of different ages to learn how the human brain develops throughout childhood. With this scientific-based evidence, parents, teachers, and policymakers will be able to confidently make informed decisions about how best to nurture our children, enabling them to reach their greatest potential. Now, where does all this very organized architecture that we see in the adult brain come from? Is it present at birth? What is the role of experience in building the brain's architecture? Well, at birth, the human brain is very immature. In fact, we have learned an astonishing fact over the past few years, that the basic architecture of the brain is not fully mature until at least 25 years after birth. This can be seen in this figure, showing the number of connections in the human brain at different ages. This indicates the very rapid rate at which connections between neurons are being made in early childhood. But then, about half of these connections are lost over the next several years between early childhood and young adulthood. So the two-year-old child has twice as many brain connections as her mom. One of the major ways that experience can shape brain development is by determining which of these many connections will become a stable part of the brain architecture and which will not. We can think of experience acting like a sculptor who begins with more clay than he needs. By removing specific bits of the material, a particular organization or shape is formed. So the growth and loss of connections is one of several ways that experience shapes how the brain grows and functions. Just as individual artists create unique pieces, each child will develop uniquely based on their own particular experiences. So in summary, different parts of the adult brain control every single aspect of human functioning. However, these brain systems are very immature in the human infant. It takes at least 25 years before the human brain functions as an adult brain. During this long developmental timeline, there are many sensitive periods when these brain systems are dependent on and shaped by experience. The brains of adults are also changed by experience, but children's brains are especially flexible and changeable. The primary purpose of this program is to provide you with evidence about the changeability or plasticity of the developing brain. For those interested in getting even more information, we have put a list of the references to the specific studies that provide the evidence for every one of the statements in this program in a special feature at the end of the DVD. We have also included a list of other resources on the topics we cover. We sincerely hope you find this program and information valuable.